Alright guys, how's it going? So I was having this really in-depth conversation on Facebook, <laughs> believe it or not. <laughs> and we were talking about the lack of groups in Blender 2.8. Now obviously you've got collections, but a user suggested to me, why don't you check out the Quick Instances plugin? It's available for free, I'll put a link in the description down below, and we'll take a quick look at the add-on. Now in order to install the add-on, it's pretty much like any other add-on. Go to Edit, Preferences, Install Add-on. And you can see here, it actually gives you a few keyboard shortcuts. So, Convert to Library Group is Control and G. Quick Instance Menu is Shift, Control and G, and that's what we'll use. So one thing regarding collections is, if I put all of these objects in a collection, it does have a place for Blender, but I can't universally transform them, and I'll show you what I mean in a second. So what I'm going to do here is, I'm going to select these three objects, I'm going to press Control, Shift and G to bring up the Instance menu, and I'm going to get assign a new group. And what that does is it actually puts it into a group. And this means I can actually move all these objects like a group. Think of Photoshop and doing grouping in Photoshop, that's probably a good an analogy. But one thing it does here is, it actually, if I press Tab, it actually puts me into a secondary scene, and it's called a library scene. And it means I can individually edit these as well. And all I need to do is jump back into scenes. So um, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to add in uh, several different meshes just to show you the difference between a collection and groups. So let's say for example I have these three objects. I select this, I select this, I select this. I press M to make as a new collection and I'll just call this my collection. My collection. Now hit OK. So up here when I select my collection, you can see I have no way to manipulate these objects. And this is why groups is pretty damn powerful. Also, the fact that it sets up a secondary scene, it means you can easily tab into edit mode and then you can actually start building different things. And trust me, when your scene gets really complex, like the other day I had to make a door open with a hatch and using groups, definitely saved me some time. So, all the links are in the description down below. Do me a favour guys, like the video, subscribe to the channel, it costs you absolutely nothing, just hit that goddamn button. Follow me on Twitter, you know what to do. Take care.